Those threats are just one of several made at different schools around the metro all over the last couple of weeks. You know, it's kind of a difficult balancing act for districts keeping kids safe while avoiding unnecessary panic. Now, 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed spoke with the Shawnee Mission School District about their protocol for vetting threats and keeping parents informed. Krista, Kevin, just last week, the district and police here had to investigate a potential threat against Shawnee Mission South. Well, as it turns out, it was actually for a school on the East Coast with the exact same initials. That's just one of the challenges that administrators face because of social media. Executive Director of Emergency Services John Douglas tells me the first step is tracing a threat to its origin, then determining whether or not the person has the plans and the resources to carry out an attack. While they can track the threats once they get them, they rely on people who see the post to send them in and share any other information they have. The way these are solved is no great secret. They almost always tell somebody, and it's absolutely imperative that that somebody tells us. And Douglas says over the past couple of years, they have received about a dozen threats. Only three of them were credible, but they were able to determine which threats were credible because of the information that parents and students sent in. So they encourage you to keep doing that. Reporting live at the Shawnee Mission School District, Cat Reed, 41 Action News.